This is my uh, NP50 charger. It's for these batteries. Uh, these are uh, crappy, no label, no brand NP50 batteries. Used in photo cameras and such, but mostly the reason why I made this thing is actually for receivers or transmitters, actually. Uh, audio transmitters. Uh, so there are a few brands that use these kind of batteries instead of, uh, well, a lot of them use pen lights, uh, which is cool. Well, can be nice as well. I mean, you can get pen lights everywhere, so that's a good thing. But they're kind of bulky compared to this. And uh, yeah, so nowadays the transmitters get smaller and smaller, so the batteries have to be smaller and smaller as well. And apparently this fits the bill. The only downside is you have chargers for these, of course, uh, but the thing is that they're usually uh, one bank or two bank chargers. So if you have like twice two batteries a day for one transmitter, usually uh, you will kind of uh, replace them in the in the well midday. Uh, well, then they're empty. <laughs> And also, I think it's a good thing to change them. Well, well, if you can, if you have the opportunity to change it, change it. And then you have some more hours left. You never know what's happening. So, uh, usually they use two at least a day for each transmitter. So, uh, if you got some, some, uh, some people that that wear one of these transmitters, you have a lot of batteries. So, it's not really much fun to charge them all with a two bay charger of course you can buy several I mean uh, it's still doable but it would be nice to have one thing so uh, that's why I made this thing actually um, so yeah uh, it, it's fed by a euro connector uh, why people uh, someone asked uh, it's a bit bulky I know but it's it's a kind of sturdy connector uh, and you can find it everywhere actually so that's kind of the reason but uh, yeah so that's actually it uh, it's from made from uh, HPL material that really is getting dirty real quick so I'm sorry about that but it, it looks nice I like the material only downside is you know fat fingers all over the place so I'm um, sorry about that uh, I actually didn't know of course but, um, so this is a 12 slot charger um, you can see the lights are green at the moment and I'll hover you a bit above it because actually you can look from the sides you see the green color as well but you don't see which slot is ready actually so now they're all green and this row corresponds to these slots and this row corresponds to these slots so if I load it up, uh, which you have to do with some care, uh, and the reason is actually that uh, you can see it here. The material is 8mm, these are around 7mm. So yes, it would be nicer to have even smaller slots, but the thing is it's, it's not possible to get material thicknesses that corresponds to this. Either I have to remove material from everything, which is possible, but uh, <laughs> I will tell you this, this, this charger as is, is way, way, way too much work, actually. It looks nice, I'm pretty proud of it, I think it really looks nice, but still, it's not really, it's not a good idea to make money, that's for sure. So, <laughs> I just made one because someone asked why isn't there a charger that can do this or that? And I said, well, I can probably make one. So that's what I did. But uh, yeah, you uh, put them in. It's uh, held by the material itself. You can see these uh, slots moving outwards. Uh, putting the batteries in is not the easiest because they're so close together, but that's what you get. If you want a lot of slots in a tiny space, this is what you get. As you can see, they turn red. I'll put one in the other uh, thing here, and uh, maybe one here. 
oh, maybe one there. Um, so you can see which one is, uh, let me adjust the light a bit because it is kind of swamping and doesn't look like it's wanting to adjust it very much so too bad but that's, um, that's just it so you can actually see which one is charging which one is not um, the power supply is pretty beefy it's way I mean you can use twice as much of these slots so you can make from this charger now it's 12 bay but you can actually make it up to 24 bay not sure if you ever need 24 slots to be honest and also do remember that it will get quite hot if you charge that amount of batteries um, another thing is uh, it charges at 400 milliampere at least it starts off I'm it drops of course when the battery is almost full uh, because it's a constant voltage constant current it changes up uh, but original the charger uh, PCBs that I use originally charged with one amp <laughs> and I think that's a little bit too much for these I mean that's the, the, the well it's the total capacity almost so and yes it is possible but it's I think it's a bit too uh, too much to be honest uh, also one amp you have to draw it from a USB cable that it's not able to draw one amp or it is but eh, not the best uh, so it's all it's just it's too fast and also if you use two two batteries it, it cannot handle that so it will not charge with one amp so if you only use one slot then it actually would charge with one amp which is also too much so I limited, limited them all to 800 so if you use one battery for one module it's 400 milliamps if you use two each battery gets 400 milliamps to start off with uh, so yeah um, there's not much to say uh, they turn green when the, when the battery is finished um, Another thing is, um, if they're full and you would change it from slot, it, it might happen that they start charging again. And that's because of the tolerances. Uh, each PCB is limited the charge current by uh, a resistor. And it's also telling, it's kind of when, it also tells the thing to shut down when the battery is full. But it all depends on the accuracy of the resistor. And it's actually like like a percent or something so it's not actually doing much but um, it can be that it is full here and it starts charging here but only for like a minute or two in constant voltage only so I'm not dumping much in there at all and then says ah now it's ready but it in fact it was already ready it doesn't charge it fully so it's like 95 96 percent I believe uh, which saves you some batteries. I mean this 4% It's not gonna do much in 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 like the amount of time the transmitter can work uh, But it does save you uh, some battery life in turn of being able to charge them often more often So yeah, uh, there's not much to more to say about this thing. I mean, it's just a charger, but uh, Yeah